Hi everyone. This is the NLA Ninja with Luca Visual Effects here to showcase the capabilities of backgrounds and overlays. Backgrounds and Overlays is a collection of full HD motion graphics clips designed to assist artists with a variety of projects. I'm going to show you how to use these clips so that you can craft new creations of your own. In my first demonstration, let's mix two of the backgrounds together along with some filters and blend modes. I'm going to use background clip 0, 3, and 15 for this example. I'm in Adobe After Effects, but you can use any compositing or editing software to manipulate these clips. With Clip 15 on top of Clip 03, let's change the blend mode of Clip 15 to Overlay. With the Overlay blend mode, you're getting an emphasis of the darker elements of the background. With Clip 3 selected, let's add a fast blur, hue and saturation, and a twirl filter. This is what our result looks like. This is a good creation to make and it can be pushed much further with other filters. Let's see how these backgrounds look when placed on footage that has subjects in them. Mixing these backgrounds with footage can create interesting composites. Let's try creating one right now. I have background clip 09 and a clip of a female dancer. I'm going to disable the clip with my female dancer and I'm going to apply brush strokes and Luca Visual Effects lo fi look. And then from there, I'm going to change the settings to taste. Next, with our footage enabled and on top of our background clip, let's change the blend mode from normal to soft light. Let's create a quick vignette by placing a black solid on top of our clip and adding a feathered circular mask. Now, we have this artistic look to our footage with minimal effort and creative flexibility. I want to show you how to give your footage another cool look with these backgrounds. I have a clip of a woman staring into the camera. Let's add an adjustment layer, a fast blur, and change the blend mode to overlay. Next, let's place background clip 85 on top of our footage and adjustment layer. I'm going to add a third party color vibrance filter to remove the black background. From there, I'll add a hue and saturation filter and keyframe the colorized hue parameter over time. Let's place another instance of background clip 85 on top. Let's add the color vibrance filter once again with the same settings as before. Let's add a glow filter to enhance the look. And finally, change the blend mode from normal to add. Now, we have these flowing motion graphics elements coming across the screen to add a nice touch to our footage. Let's see how these backgrounds and overlays work when you're dealing with text. These backgrounds greatly complement text. You can place these clips inside of text or use them to enhance text graphics you may have created in Photoshop Illustrator, or After Effects. I'm going to create a video inside of text effect with these backgrounds. First, let's make a quick text animation. Then, I'll pre-compose it and place one of the backgrounds beneath our text layer. With our background selected, let's change our track mat from None to Alpha. From here, I'll create two more instances of the text layer to get a drop shadow and an outline. From here, 
I'll need a background to complete this. Let's use background clip 04. And let's add a radial blur. And a human saturation filter. Here's what we get. A quick text animation with a cool circular background from a background that was originally complex. Like I've said before, you can use these backgrounds to enhance text graphics like those created from Photoshop layers or shapes. Let's use background clip 16 and 23 to create a new background. With clip 16 on top of clip 23, I'm going to add the Kaleido effect, hue and saturation, and a cross blur. Let's change the blend mode on clip 16 from normal to overlay. And here is what our background looks like now. As you can see, these backgrounds and overlays are a versatile product to have in your arsenal. The amount of ways you can manipulate, combine, and composite these clips allows for limitless creations. You can purchase this product from Luca Visual Effects for the low price of $49. I'm the NLA Ninja with Luca Visual Effects, asking you to stay creative. Thanks for watching.